In this video, we're gonna be using 345 Soap Company Old Red and the Gillette Super Speed Red Tip. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it, and as mentioned before, Today we're going to be using 345 Soap Company Old Red. And I don't know if this was a holiday offering. Kind of looks like a Christmas tree back there and it's red and green. But I'm going to tell you something right now. This smells good. Oh, to me it's kind of almost a gourmandy type scent. But it's beautiful. Scent strength right at medium. Uh, let's show you the notes right there. Vanilla, raspberry, nutmeg, fir. Oh, really, really beautiful scents. If you like gourmandy type of scents, this one is very good and I don't know if it's a holiday release so if you're interested in it I suggest you pick it up because it might be who knows really good price on this $16.95 for 5.8 ounces on our cost chart there an exceptional $2.92 an ounce the ingredients excellent this trinity base has everything you want it's got the unicorn milk, the dragon tallow, the essence of Sprite, the chupacabra oil. It's got really good stuff. Mango butter, kokum, camel milk, donkey milk, uh, goat's milk. It's really a good quality soap. And to me, 345 Soap Company is definitely an up and comer. And this just smells beautiful. So we look forward to using it today. We're also going to use a vintage razor today. It's been a while since I've used a vintage DE. This is the Super Speed Red Tip, which is known to be the most efficient or aggressive of the Super Speed razors. I don't find any of the Super Speed razors particularly uh, efficient or aggressive, but this is my favorite. It's, it's probably the heaviest of the group. It's got really nice knurling. By twist to open, we mean you twist it and the door is open. Uh, today we're using a uh, Tiger blade for the second time. It's the same blade I used the other day. And we twist it, drop the blade in like so, and it closes like that. Non-adjustable twist to open vintage razor. This is definitely my favorite model of the Super Speed. Let's go ahead and get going. We have about uh, 24 hours of growth today. We'll wet the face, and this is just plain water. And I'll remind you all, uh, the products that I'm using, the ones that are available, I will link them below. So check them out if you please. I'm gonna use our Captain's Choice Copper Bowl. Uh, and today we're using the West Coast Shaving Two-Tone Brush, or as I like to call it, the Dude of Shaving Brush, because he hates this brush. <laughs> but anyway, I think we have some nice lather whipped up from the 345. And I want to mention, if you want to know how I make the lather, because some people say, well, how did you make that lather? You already had it made. I will, I will put a link to a lather tutorial video below so you can see how I actually make the lather. And we're just going to paint it on here and try to have a very nice, enjoyable relaxing shave and of course that's what you shoot for every day shoot for every day i only have two rules when it comes to my practicing of this hobby or rules that i think people should follow number one have fun number two be nice that's it if you do those two things you're on the right track use the type of gear you like make the type of lather you like make as many videos or shave of the day photos as you like and just enjoy it but be nice. <laughs> That's the main thing, at least from my perspective. And as you can see here, no problems with the lather on the 345. This is a very nice quality soap at a very good price. And wow, I tell you what, this smells great. I can tell you right now, Junior, if you're watching this, this is a scent for you. I'm telling you right now. It is very, very nice. Let's Put that back a little bit there. I hope you're all doing well today and we want to send our wishes to the Lindholm family. Uh, I was told Maddie uh, got the Rona about a week ago or so um, and I hope that you are doing well Maddie as well as your family and I hope all of you watching are doing well. Very nice. I do like the super speed red tip. It's an easy going sort of razor that you can just relax and have an excellent shave with. To me, it doesn't feel crazy efficient. Some people say it's, it's aggressive because it's the most aggressive of the super speed razors. But uh, to me, it's still not, this is not a razor to be feared or anything like that from my perspective. And I think some company did sort of a tr tribute razor to this, um, maybe Global Shave. Yeah, I think it's Global Shave. A while back and some people really like that for me um 
I like the original. There's just something nice about using this old razor. And it's definitely one of my favorite um, vintage razors as far as DEs are concerned. The red tip, there's a black tip, or excuse me, there are, there are different models of this. There's a blue tip, there's one that has a black tip, and some of them are called like Rocket, and they have different names, but they're all sort of super speed in nature, just a relatively mild twist to open razor. And uh, I enjoy using this once in a while. It's a very nice razor. Probably my uh, number one. Um, vintage Gillette razor would probably be the legendary Fat Boy. I just like that razor a lot. I know some people prefer the Slim or the Black Beauty. It's super adjustable, but I really like the Fat Boy. But uh, I always appreciate this red tip as well. It's very nice. And the blade, some folks ask about the blade, how it feels. It feels pretty good. To me, it does feel comparable to an Astra SP or something like that. It doesn't feel um, crazy sharp, but it's smooth and I like it so far. So no complaints there on that first pass. That was very nice and smooth. The soap just smells fantastic. I love this scent. This is a great one. I just picked it up, uh, honestly, on a whim because the last time I used three, four, five, I was like, man, I gotta go get some more three, four, five. That stuff is really good. And it has really surprised me and at the price, I mean, honestly, you, you can't beat it. It's just at under $3 an ounce, exceptional. The ingredients it has in it, um, it's very nice. And John, the the owner there, is my interactions with him is, have all been positive. Just a nice guy out there seeming, seemingly, you know, supporting people and just, just being nice. And don't we all like that? And, you know, I think we all go through periods where maybe... We're not as nice as we ought to be, but in this divided world, it's certainly preferable if we can try to be a blessing. And I certainly have not always done that in the hobby. I've ranted, raved, carried on, talked about politics and all sorts of stuff. But uh, I, like, I like to think now we do it in a positive and enjoyable way. And quite frankly, that makes me a much happier person. Now, that doesn't mean we have to like every product that we try and we're going to say you know we're going to make that known if we do not but in terms of just trying to enjoy it and being a blessing that is definitely in our goals <laughs> you know having fun trying to be a blessing enjoying ourselves and of course adv advocacy for this hobby that uh, i love so dearly and those are sort of <laughs> my goals. All right, let's get on with the second pass. Second pass, we're coming on the cheeks across the grain for me, and it could be different for you. Please keep that in mind if you're new. I know I am getting some comments from newer folks, and uh, we will start doing more tutorials. Again, I mentioned I have the lathering tutorial up there for you, which I will link below. I also did a uh, lathering tutorial for the razor company where I use three methods, bowl lathering, face lathering, and palm lathering. So I'll link that one. But again, as I mentioned the other day, the quality on that one is not great. So you really can't appreciate the sheen on the lather and so on in that particular video. But the technique is all the same. I do, uh, I send the videos to the razor company in uh, HD, but they, they uh, I guess, don't upload or I don't know if they re-render the videos or what, but um, when it was airing, they're they're not uh, they're not 1080, so I don't know how they upload them. But anyway, it's neither here nor there. The techniques are the same. So if you want to see that video, go check it out and give them a sub. There's a lot of great people doing videos for the Razor Company. Uh, the Razor Company continuing to. Um, be a light, you know, a, a newer company. It's not new. It's been around probably a couple of years, but they've really uh, went out of their way to to help folks. And they have sheet free shipping after uh, $10, which is crazy. <laughs> it's crazy good. It's crazy good. 
So check them out. I just ordered uh, yesterday. First Canadian shave, um, Ace of Spades, and Satsuma from the, because I saw they got some uh, First Canadian shave soaps in, so I'm looking forward to trying that. I really love First Canadian as well. And let's get our, get our final lather done here. This, I tell you right now, is creamy good stuff. Three, four, five is, is legit. It is easy to work with. It's easy to make a nice lather with. So if you watch the lather tutorial, I'm using Shannon soaps, which I've always felt to be a very underrated soap. And it makes a really nice creamy lather if you take the time to do it. This one is capable of that as well. You can see the hydration in the lather there. And we could probably push that hydration if we wanted to. No big deal, it can handle it. But I tell you, overall, three, four, five is on the move, on the up and up. <laughs> <laughs> At least I like to think so. As you can see there, good creamy stuff. Very slick, very nice. You really can't complain about 345, or at least I'm not going to. I hope they continue to do things the way they are, which is offering a very good quality soap at a very good price. Sometimes we'll see artisans start out and they sort of offer things at an introductory price, and I might have a couple of Little chunks of soap in there, but that's no big deal. And then later they raise it fairly dramatically. I hope this is not the case with three, four, five, because this is in the realm of exceptional value. And you know me, I like except exceptional value. And the quality is just fantastic. And this scent, I'm telling you, <laughs> if you like gourmand, you get that raspberry, you get that vanilla. I don't get a lot of the fur personally. It is nice. And even if it is a Christmas scent, I love it, and I look forward to using it next, uh, this Christmas upcoming, God willing, of course, because let's face it, folks, none of us have the assurance of another day, another year, another anything. So please um, think about it today. Try to be a blessing. Try to be uplifting, if you possibly can. It's my goal. I don't always hit the mark, but... Uh, I always, always have those goals in mind to try to be helpful and so on and so forth. All right. Very nice. The Tiger Blade here feels good. No problem at all. I got the Tiger Blades from um, Big Dude Barbus. And so no problem. Working very well. We're just going to do a little clean up here. And boy, that is slick. Very nice sheen of slickness still there. Just nothing to complain about with this soap today. Very nice. I don't know if he still has the uh, splash in this. If he does, I would be tempted to get it because uh, I think it's quite good. And now I'm shaving on residual slickness. If you're new, I do not recommend you do this just in case you have not made a lather with tremendous residual slickness, but this is still slick. So the visible lather is gone. It's still very, very slick. And that's a sort of a, a quality. Uh, excuse me, it's a an attribute of a very good soap, is even when the lather is removed, you still have great sl slickness left behind. And if you have a good soap and you lather it in a way that brings out the best in the soap, you'll have that really nice residual slickness, which is just a little sheen there of slickness that allows that razor to glide even when you don't see visible lather. And three, four, five, if if lathered properly, certainly provides that. And that's uh, something we all like in uh, shaving soaps is ones that provide that additional slickness even as, after that visible lather is gone. Honestly, um, I think three, four, five is one of those soaps that is definitely making moves and, and uh, if they continue to deliver these scents, which are very nice, I don't see any reason why you're not going to see them in more and more videos. More and more shave of the days. The price is right. The quality is right. All we need is to see more scents. And uh, I have not had any... And I, I don't have anything negative at all to say about three, four, five. Like, you know, sometimes you can find something to 
complain about? Well, it took too long to get it or, I mean, but there's just nothing to complain about. And that's a good thing. <laughs> I mean, the label's on straight. Like I, I'm hard pressed to find anything to complain about or that I could complain about. Let's put it that way. That was excellent. That was fun, excellent. That scent just, it makes me happy. So uh, I hope whatever you use today, it'll bring that happiness and joy to you as well. Let me rinse, we'll come back into the post. Stay tuned. All right, and we're back. And today we're gonna towel off with our Lancaster towel. I normally don't do this, but I wanted to give props to Andre from Lancaster. I've had this one for about a year. Absolutely love it. I will link Lancaster below. He has drops uh, on these from time to time. Just wonderful, soft towel. And really all you have to do is pat and it'll wick that moisture right away. Uh, so off cam we did a warm water rinse. We followed it with the PAA alum. Uh, no stinging there, so super smooth shave. We uh, followed that with a cold water rinse. And, and we're gonna bring in the Magic Made by Witches, Thayer's Witch Hazel. This is cucumber. We'll just spray that on. And you saw the Lancaster towel there, which I really love. And I wanna thank Andre. He's really been reaching out to people and just being very generous and doing kind things. So thank you, Andre. This is an awesome towel. I really love it. And thank you again, Andre. Now, by the way, I purchased those. I'm just thanking Andre for his contribution to the hobby. All right, today, the 345 Soap Company, Old Red. Awesome, awesome scent. I'm super happy with it. If it is a Christmas offering, man, I'm glad to have it. And I can't wait to use it again around Christmas, God willing. The Super Speed Red Tip, very nice. Tiger Blade was nice as well, no problem with that. We used the West Coast Shaving Two-Tone Brush, or as I like to call it, the Dude of Shaving Brush. And we're gonna finish off today just with a little Lucky Tiger. I don't know why. Using the Tiger Blades, use the Lucky Tiger. <laughs> and I hope you all are having great shaves. Hope everything is going well. Hope you're he help healthy, happy, and I hope to see you here again tomorrow because you know I'll be here, God willing. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you it's your shave. Do it your way. And as always, God bless.